we'll handle this. We'll take the long way. You're not bull me, right? I'm not bull nowhere. I'm blown away myself. The older man was telling me that he had been fighting for quite some time a particular entity, but now there's more and he can't contend with them any further. They're very strange looking. They have bat faces. They have the pointed ears.
I do not think that these things were ever alive. I think they're inherently evil. One thing I noticed was someone was saying some type of religious statement, and it did make them back, back up. I would say that these things are some kind of demons. It made me sick to my stomach knowing that we were living in the house with these demons. Let's play Find the Scorpion. Can you see it? Oh, how about that? Huh. Gunfights between aliens and humans, the stuff of science fiction or science fact. One of the most infamous stories of a human-alien gun battle is the alleged underground battle at Dulce Base, New Mexico in 1979. The story was told by Phil Schneider, who claims he was a geologist responsible for extending an underground military facility in the region. Schneider says he drilled four holes to extend the base further underground using a laser drill that melts the rock. When he was lowered down one of the holes to check rock samples, he was confronted with a seven-foot tall grey alien. Schneider drew his sidearm and fired, but sustained injuries from some kind of electrical charge released by the alien. Schneider Simple iPod. This camera. That's how I filmed that video you just saw, that evil spirit. Now, you will also need to get yourself to film evil spirits. Get one of these older models. It's a night vision night owl. It's a solid object, and it, you can still see through a solid object with this darn thing. Anyway. I figure the way that happened is the uh, entity, the evil spirit, you know? So you take your I iPod, put it here, that's how I filmed it record and then you aim it around a dark place until the entity you know just like those people that have black lights when they're looking for scorpions in the in the Let's desert play find the scorpion <laughs> can you see it 
Can you see it? Oh, how about that? Her. use black lights at nighttime so that the um, the scorpions in the desert scientists do this when they're looking for scorpions they use a black light to find the scorpions so they can put them in the lab the scorpion will uh, glow with black light some kind of electrical charge released by the alien schneider says he killed two aliens before being injured and sent back up to the surface by a green beret the battle then continued between the aliens and the green berets down below Schneider says about 66 soldiers died that day. I think that's what the evil spirit has. Some sort of chemical or some sort of reaction that with this camera and the night scope has all night scopes are light amplification. Which means it takes light in. Right? And amplifies it. Sucks it in. Sucks it into view. You know? Not zoom, but sucks it in, amplifies it, increases it. It's a different technology. That's what night scopes are. So that's what I used. Try yourself that. Get yourself an iPod. Link is below the description if you need to get the night vision night owl. Then what I did is I pressed record, started looking around, you know. Um, there was an EVP app on here that I was using, but whatever. Um, I just recorded it through here, and then I had had it on, right? And then I had IR on, so it was done through IR, not UV. See that? Also, the closet where I saw most of these things was in the smaller room upstairs. That's my son's room. Is it possible that he's seen them? Yes. Uh, I did do a sketch of what I saw. Oh, jeez. That's the thing that I see. that scan.